I'm continuing to build my off-grid solar system. In the last video, I connected all these batteries together in pairs to, to create 48 volts. In this video, I'm going to be doing the same with my friend's battery rack, which are these four batteries. These are not going to stay here. But we're going to make a few modifications, do it a little bit different this time around. In the last video where I attached these bus bars to create pairs to create the 48 volts, I forgot to mention that when I installed these batteries, I put them in the shelving unit, I flipped every other battery upside down. That allowed for the positive to be on the right and then the negative to be on the right for every other pair. That means I could series connect them here. I ordered this specifically for my friend's rack and I'm kind of excited about the design of it. It'll be something a little bit different than mine. Now these are copper bars. I ordered these copper bars from McMastercar.com. These copper bars are half an inch wide and a quarter of an inch thick, and they're four feet long. They are made of copper 101, which is the electrical copper. You can see we have the bottom one is right side up, upside down, and then right side up and upside down. With my friends, I put the bottom two right side up. So these two are going to be paralleled on the spot. And then the upper two are both upside down. We're going to parallel these two on the spot and then series connect them over here on this side. I've already notched out. And so if I get the camera in here at the right angle, you might be able to see that all those copper lugs are going to line up with each other. If I did it right. <laughs> and then these ones will also line up with the notch here, but I did not notch this one. So 35 and 3 quarter. I'll go ahead and drill the first hole, that way we can bolt it in place and get an accurate measurement for all the other holes. I have a bolt in the top and now I can hold this copper bar against the posts and I can mark it out. Marking them out. There we go. With the holes now drilled and beveled on both sides, I'm going through with a little piece of emery cloth and I'm scoring that up. That way I'll make a nice clean connection. The connections. You see I'm pushing the top one back just slightly and it pivots here and that is helping me make these line up. There we go. Here we go.
with these guys torqued down, I should be able to get my 48 volts on the other side. So here's a positive, and on this side, a negative. 53.15. I'm going to cut up two more copper bars to parallel this side, and then we'll catch back. There's that copper bar. As you can see, it's I drilled the holes and insulated it with some heat shrink. That's when you have, in this case, it's 26 volts, 24 volts nominal. So now going from, from right here, the upper bar, to the lower bar, now 53 volts. <laughs> You can see we're only 14 millivolts out, so pretty close. 12, and adjusted slightly. All right, so 12 millivolts. There we go. So now we can just attach our BMS leads. I really like the way this came out. So this long bar is doing two things. It's paralleling these two modules right here, but it's also series connecting them to these two. This uh, post right here and this post down here at the bottom are my two main positive and negative for this whole column. So I kind of wish that I had done this with my rack idea. After I had the idea for this and I was underway, I came up with the idea for this one. And that's the fun of doing this. You know, you get to try new things. But let me know in the comments below which way you prefer. Uh, do you think having every pair with its own dedicated positive and negative wire or grouping them like this could have been a better idea? And thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. I have an affiliate link to Battery Hookup where I bought these batteries. And that really does help me out a lot if you can use the affiliate link. All right, thank you everybody very much for watching.